I think the Paramount Theater Center and Ballroom is, um, has a very important uh, place in history, uh, the city of Anderson. It was built in 1929, and at that time there were seven other theaters on this street. There were 23 theaters um, in the area. So the movie studios who owned those theaters had to compete to get um, people's attention, to have them come into their theater. John Eberson designed this theater uh, as an atmospheric theater uh, where families could come in and, and um, you went into the theater and you could see that you could go in and it's like being inside a garden. Um, he built that with the intent of providing families and communities uh, a place to go to kind of get away from the day-to-day -day, um, hassles and frustrations. So when they came into the theater, they were taken away not only by the atmosphere and the ambiance, but also the movies that, that were offered here. Um, 1929 was um, a pretty, uh, pretty hustle bustle time in Anderson and Madison County. You had uh, GM, you had the gas boom, and throughout the years a lot of the support, support for the Paramount came from um, those corporations and, and companies that, that thought that this was a, an important place to keep going for their families. Um, our mission statement is serving the public with arts, entertainment, and community events in the most beautiful historic setting in Indiana. And um, certainly the history is here. We're on the national list of historic places. And it's just a great place for, for people to come and make memories. We have um, volunteers here who used to work here as, as youngsters and teenagers. And um, as, as far as they're concerned, the Paramount has always been here. And um, it's like I said, it's a, a great place to make new memories. Um, people like to get married here in our theater, and we have a ballroom. So it's, it's kind of stood the test of time with the help of the community and the, and the support of, of folks like GM, and, and we have more current support from foundations. Madison County Community Foundation has been real important in helping us get through, um, you know, to, to carry on and keep offering uh, movies and ballet recitals and the symphony. Um, Anderson Young Ballet Theater calls the Paramount home. Um, Anderson Symphony Orchestra calls the Paramount home. So there's a lot of connections to the arts um, and, and the people who enjoy those arts here. And uh, like I said, since 1929, we've been working real hard to, to, keep, that, to keep that going. The, downtown has a history, as all downtowns do in, 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 in their respective towns, that it used to be a business center. You know, um, there was Nick's Nut Shack, and there was Hague Drugs, and then there was a Woolworth, and there was motels, or, or hotel, and there were places to eat, and there were, you know, there was a reason for people to come downtown. And um, now there's um, um, a lot of offices, and it's, it's very busy during the day, but at night, if there's nowhere to go, why, you know, why come down? Um, I think that, you know, Croker Heads is a really good friend down at the end of the street, and they provide uh, nightly entertainment. We try to, we try to do that as well. Um, and, uh, of course, the city does, um, in the summer, we have things at uh, Town Center Park. It's just something to do. You know, I, um, I'm not a politician. I um, try to stay away from those kinds of conversations. Um, I just wish that the, the people who own the buildings would make just one more investment in downtown. And if they don't want to make an investment downtown, maybe they could sell their building to somebody who would. I know it's not that simple, but there are a lot of people in town who um, really believe in downtown. And um, I just wish there was more opportunity for someone to take a chance. And I don't know what's involved in that. I really don't. Mm -hmm. It would just be really nice to have neighbors um, after dark who would want to come by and visit, or we could go visit them. So, um, you know, there just needs to be more to do. And we hope to continue to do our part.